So I think now is all about the how. Hello, it is the start of another vlog. It is Saturday, it is hot. Oh my God, I'm probably gonna melt. I've put makeup on, I don't know why I bothered. I'm probably gonna have it melting down my face by the end of the day. We're just not really equipped for this weather. We don't have air con, you know, the tube is boiling. It's good, really. I mean, I prefer it to winter, so I just have to appreciate it whilst it's here. And it's quite nice to just put stuff on without a care in the world. So it is Saturday and I've actually been invited to brunch with the founders of Slay In Your Lane. So it's the book I mentioned last week. It's all, you know, it's a guide for young black women or any black woman really trying to find her way in Britain. And it covers everything from school to work and relationships. I'm on chapter four and it's quite, you know, it's quite easy to get through. I mean, there's a lot of facts, it's really interesting, but I've just found myself, you know, wanting to finish it really. Whereas with some books I get bored halfway through, I stop and start and it takes a while. So yeah, it's really making me want to read more, obviously. So yeah, hopefully I'll finish that soon and then I can give you like a mini review on the book. So yeah, I'd probably better leave. I need to get myself to Holborn, get on the tube. Probably gonna melt on the tube. Wish me luck. We birthed this baby after such a long time and we're just so happy that we're here celebrating with you guys and yeah, we're just having a really good time and yeah, obviously I'm a little girl. So yeah, so honestly, I'm just going to go around and introduce themselves and essentially just get to know each other as well. All right. Hello, I'm Christabel. I'm a fashion, lifestyle and travel blogger and vlogger as well. I've got my camera on the go and yeah, I'm quite honest online about my experiences, you know, struggling with confidence. And I think my thing is, the tagline is making the most of life, but accepting that there may be hiccups along the way and that's perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. It's about recognizing the journey, I think, like slaying in your lane. Mm. I've always like compared myself. I go online, I'm like, oh my God, someone is doing the exact thing I want to be doing. But yeah. it's just remembering that journey, mm. knowing that your time will come. Like I remember comparing yeah. myself like a good few years ago to this girl who was doing, you know, coming up with a company idea. And I'm like, damn it, why didn't I think of that? Yeah. But you've just got to think your time will come. Yeah. Yeah. You will get that idea and you, you have to go through all that stuff to figure out yeah. what path is right for you. So don't worry about age. We're ageless, obviously we don't, we don't age. It's great. The melanin will, you know, make you look young. It doesn't matter if you slay, you know, you're 40, it doesn't matter, you'll look 20. But yeah, lovely to meet you all. I'm so excited to read the rest of the book and Woo get chatting. Thank you. <laughs> And when we realised it was going to go all right, we were like, okay, we don't need to watch the football. Our work here is done. So, yeah, it was great, nice sitting in a, a hut, a really hot hut. Um, yeah, it's a good social situation. Like, now we're going to have some curry at this place of tuting and very excited. Hello, so it is Monday and this is what I'm wearing. It's the dress from Grassfields that I got fixed, so the zip was broken and yeah it needed a bit of taking in at the top i don't think i've quite perfected it because it's still a bit baggy at the back and i think it's meant to be that way like slightly but you know i think it'll do for now my skills are a bit limited but yeah it's definitely looking a lot better i literally had this sitting in my wardrobe for about a year until i decided to do something about it but i just love the the pattern and everything so yeah, this is what I'm gonna be wearing today. What is the plan? I'm gonna to go to my co-working space and then I've been invited to a Christiane Louboutin event at Selfridges, which is really exciting. I think they're launching something to do with beauty. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit surreal. I think all the girls they've invited have over a hundred thousand followers. So um, you know, of course I, I deserve to be there, but it's just a bit of an interesting mix so and then we're going to Somerset House to see MGMT so since I barely go and see any music I think this is going to be a good chance for me to get into you know 2018 in terms of my choices it should be a good start to the week I need to get some stuff done as per usual I just I don't know I feel like I always go a bit off the ball uh, in the summer sometimes I get a bit distracted so I'm trying to get back 
you know, focus, sort out what I need to sort out and then have fun afterwards. So that is the plan today. I need to leave this hot house and get on with some work. Tuesday so yeah yesterday was so much fun like it's just very surreal like, I can go from having quite an unproductive day to like having a great evening you know hanging out in Selfridges watching a band yeah I do, I do worry about how this comes across what I'm saying but you know if you, you feel like you're having a you know you know if you're feeling a bit demotivated like things can turn around in a couple of hours so I feel like I had one of those days yesterday and I'm like, okay, Christabel, get your act together. You gotta sort yourself out. You can do this. Always having to give myself pep talks. And I did listen to podcasts last week. It's like how to be more de decisive and they literally just say, make a decision. Cause either way you will pull yourself forward. But sometimes I'm like, oh no, I'm just gonna sit here and be indecisive. So I'm like, no, this week, Christabel, you're gonna make your decisions and get on with stuff. So today I'm gonna head to my co-working space I'm going to be on a podcast later on and they actually record them in these podcast booths. I'm imagining like egg-shaped pods. I'm not quite sure if that's how they're going to be, but they are around West London. So I've got that about four-ish and then a next event in the evening. So yeah, should be fun. Should be really interesting. They've really done a lot of research on this podcast. Like they've sent me over loads of questions and they have delved into ev like articles, freelance articles I've written like four years ago. So it'll be really interesting. I will link my about page down below because that's where I list all of the podcasts I've been on. But yeah, that is how my day is looking. So wish me luck with everything. So I'm now in West London and I think I'm recording a podcast in this booth. This is the view from the pod and inside the pod, got all the equipment. Right, so I'm out of the podcast booth. Oh my God, it was absolutely boiling in there. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better. I feel like podcasts are a little bit like therapy. Like you can just talk quite freely. Like it's a good way to feel energized. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's quite nice to talk about yourself. I'm really struggling with taking risks at the moment, but then looking back, I've realized that I actually have taken risks, which is weird. You know, sometimes you need someone else to bring something out of you if that makes any sense anyway i'm really early for the next event so i'm just sort of hanging around on street corners vlogging looking a bit awkward but i have my sunglasses on so hopefully it'll be okay this is the next event i'm with Sade. yay reunited <laughs> you called me by accident and i was like oh she's calling me architecting architecting oh my gosh i know that's not a real word but So it's Saturday, just been editing the vlog and yeah, it seemed a bit weird. Like I read this really cool post on Ella's blog. So her blog is called Coco's Tea Party. And I think it's about how your monthly cycle affects your productivity and your mood. Obviously it affects your mood, but it may be better to do certain tasks at certain points in your menstrual cycle and then just avoid certain tasks. So I think I need to reread that because I just felt a bit all over the place. I'm feeling better now. I think it's just, I've had some really positive experiences. Like people have said really nice things. Like I met a few people in person and they've just said really positive things. And I think I just needed to hear them at that time. Also, I've almost finished this book. So yeah, it makes, it reassures me that, you know, I, I can get back into reading again because I was just finding it so much of a struggle. I was always on my phone and getting sucked into scrolling. But I do really want to read more. So I've been trying to read this before bed. And if I get up early, I try and read it as well. So yeah, practically at the end. I just think it's so insightful. Like there's facts to back everything up. 
there's advice, there's context. Like, it's really interesting. I think I'll probably go back and reread bits, especially the bit about starting a business and having a business plan. There is an art to networking and your approach to it will determine how successful you will be in creating new contacts and clients. And obviously I'm always trying to network. This is why I'm going to so many events. I went to two on Thursday, which were really, really positive. Yeah, I just, like, no one really teaches you these things. You don't really learn it at school. I think these books, business books are great. And it's great that there's one more targeted to black women and all the, you know, extra issues that we face. So I've been reading the book. I've also been listening to one of my favourite podcasts, which is Behind the Brilliance. It was a really good episode this week. And it was a QA. and I think someone asked about this de definition of success. And it was just a really good pep talk. I've actually listened to it twice, taken some notes, might listen to it again. I'm listening to this week's one, which is about sorting out your morning routine. And I think mine is a bit all over the place. I've also been reading this book again, The Anxiety Solution, and actually made me feel quite emotional. Oh my, I dropped so much coffee on this book, but it was really, oh God, drop the book. <laughs> I, just, I just related to so much of this book. And there's worksheets in the back so you can note things down. I don't know if I'm gonna start a journal. And because in the book it says to note down all the things that are worrying you. And sometimes it's just a lot easier putting them, out on pa putting them down on paper, looking at them and thinking, actually, it's not that bad. Or you can, you know, you can turn it around. So yeah, these are my, my recommendations. I think if you're feeling a bit all over the place, I think I'm gonna do a post at some point. You know, the books I've been reading to help me with career wobbles. I think it's about reminding myself of why I'm doing this and it's not necessarily about getting more followers or becoming the richest person ever. I think it's about turning what I'm doing now, so, you know, hopefully adding value with what I'm writing and talking about into a business that changes things for the better in multiple ways, whether it's with fashion or empowering black women. So... Yeah, I just, I just, it scares me. I have ideas and I have things I'd love to do, but they do scare me. And I think, oh, it's a tricky one. It's a real, real tricky one. So what's the plan today? I'm in my gym gear, looking good. I think exercise is good. I haven't exercised that much. So excited to dance it all off. I've got a family barbecue later on, which should be good. I've not seen my nan in ages. Also, I feel like I need to schedule in like family phone calls because I can go for weeks without speaking to my nan or, you know, my, my mum. When I had the retreat in Spain, we had a bit of a workshop and it was like, you know, note down where you are in terms of family, relationships, career, and then where you want to be and how you're gonna get to where you want to be. And I didn't really think about the how. So I think now is all about the how. <laughs> what am I like? Anyway, I think I'm gonna bring this vlog to a close. I hope it was interesting. I think my next video is probably gonna be what I eat in a day. I've never done anything like it. I'm gonna do a little bit of research, but add my own spin to it. Oh my God. And my last video, I know I said, put your own spin on it about a hundred times. <laughs> I need more vocabulary basically. So yeah, that's the plan. Let me know if you'd like me to do anything else in terms of blogging. I've also got a post on the blog. I featured three independent shops in North London. So there's loads of areas that I just love going to like Crouch End or Tufnell Park. Oh, I'd love to live in these areas. Oh, I just need some money. I've also got Instagram at I am Christabel. I finally featured the Grassfields dress and the story of, you know, how I left it in the wardrobe for about a year and thought I was going to fix it. So the podcast I'm going to be featured on is called Janet's List. So I will leave the link down below for that. I'm not quite sure when the episode's going to be out. I think it's going to be split into two, but I will put that on my about page with all the other podcasts I've been featured on. If you like this video, it would make my day. If you subscribed or liked the video, it just means I can keep making more of this. <laughs> I'll put my previous videos here and here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. Bye! So I have a massive Google Doc which is organised by month and I prefer to use Google Docs because you can sync it across every single device. You know, it's not super fancy, but it works. So I split it up into key dates. So there might be, you know, a mixture of traditional holidays like Easter, 